This player is about to get the chance that millions only dream of. The chance to see if he's got what it takes to make it in the show. Back at it here on MLB Central. And before the break, we talked a little bit about an exciting prospect who has made his way to the major leagues. Minor league podcaster Ben Gelman has been covering him for a long time, and he joins us now. Ben, thanks for coming on. How did you become interested in his journey? Well, first off, I'm glad to be here, Robert. You know, I follow the draft every year to get a read on the prospects who are coming into the pro ranks, and he was getting a lot of flack. A lot of folks thought he was drafted too high, and that, of course, was very interesting to me. Then they tried the two-way experiment with him, and they may have moved off it, but off it, but it's fascinating to me. He's just pitched better and better as he went along, and that's easy to justify in terms of covering a guy like this. So now that he's here at the top level, what should we expect to see from him as he takes on the best players in the world? Well, I loved what I saw of him while he was in the minors. The stuff is real. He's gotten better and better with his command, and he'll need that to get big league hitters out. I don't expect him to be a Cy Young Award winner right away. I do think he's going to be very good. The key is going to be getting him consistent starts in the rotation. If he does, I think he can be a real impact arm for them. Well, it must be so exciting for him as it is for every young player who gets that call for the first time. Sean, you've been there. You know what it's like. What is your memory of being called up to the majors for the first time? Greatest moment of my life. I mean, really, like, I remember I just hit the home run to win the Triple A championship in Buffalo. And uh, it was just, that was unbelievable in itself. And I came in the clubhouse afterwards, and and uh, Mark Shapiro at the time was the minor league director. Brian Graham was the coach. And they said, hey, congratulations, Case. That's awesome. I'm like, oh, it's so great. Uh, you know, we're popping the champagne. I'm getting ready to go home the next day. And next thing you know, they're like, you're getting called up to the big leagues tomorrow. Your season is not over. You're going meet to the, meet the team in Chicago. And I remember running out to get on a pay phone because there's no cell phones. And I called my mom and dad and said, Dad, Mom, I just hit a home run to win the AAA championship. And I just got called to the big leagues in a matter of, like, 15 minutes, you know? And so it, it, was, it was one of those things where it's the dreams coming true right like all those hours of hitting all the time putting in all the weights all the stuff that you did that dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one with that one phone call or, or the one moment you get called up so you know for me it's it's mind-boggling it's one of the greatest moments of my life case that is a great story thanks for sharing and thanks for giving us a little bit of insight into what this young man must be feeling like right now A skipper appeals to his players to demonstrate some resilience and how they finish a rough season. 